The hardest, densest rock is actually made up mostly of empty space. Can't perceive it, of course. Why is that? Can human beings evolve to be able to perceive things which are at present beyond our grasp? Queerer than we can suppose, the strangeness of science is the title of the BT Memorial Lecture given at the University recently by eminent and controversial evolutionary biologist Richard Dawkins. The famous essay on possible worlds wrote, Now my own suspicion is that the universe is not only queerer than we suppose, but queerer than we can suppose. I suspect that there are more things in heaven and earth than are dreamed of, or can be dreamed of, in any the late Douglas Adams, author of The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, from the strange of science, pushing the point of comedy, which in certain parts of science is the only place you can We find real matter comforting. Survive in middle world, where matter is a useful fiction. Such a Steve Graham points out, is a thing with just as much reality as a rock or a hurricane. Even though the matter in the whirlpool of a hurricane is continually changing, nevertheless, it has appeared. It is a thing. In a desert plain in Tanzania, in the shadow of the volcano Aldonio Lengai, there's a dune, a shell dune, made of volcanic ash from the eruption of the volcano in Carved into shape by the wind. But the beautiful thing is that it moves bodily. It's what's technically known as a barkhan. The entire dune walks across the desert in a westerly direction at a speed of about 15 meters per year, retaining its crescent shape, moving in the direction of the crescent. The wind blows the sand up the shallows of the Venezuela. The sand grows to the ridge. It cascades down the A bar column is more of a thing. Even a sense. And a wave seems to move horizontally across the open sea, but molecules actually move up and down vertically. Um, that you and I are more like a wave than a Because it is important. <laughs> 